Okay, so we've calibrated our camera and now and calibrated our pointer tool and now we want to plan our procedure. So we go to the IGI planning software and let's start by selecting a CT data set. The CTs are under a data CT and uh, if you use the installer uh, you will have a standard uh, data set uh, if you downloaded uh, additional uh, CTs from our website then you'll probably have the oriented and the with rice CT data sets it's up to you whichever one you want to use I'll use the standard which comes with our installer and it loads and select the camera calibration file obviously it's clear that we already calibrated our camera and we take that and uh, the tooltip uh, .xml the calibration file for our uh, pointer tool both the camera calibration and the tooltip are under the where you install the tutorial and uh, under the configuration directory so select that and we need to represent the uh, tool uh, somehow in 3D as a model and given that we only know where the tool tip is then we represent it as a sphere so uh, we provide you with a, a ball mesh so uh, if you have other types of meshes and uh, want to load those then use those obviously so We've got that, and now we can move on to uh, the next step, which where we need to uh, identify the reference uh, marker, which is uh, attached to our uh, phantom. This allows us to move the phantom around uh, without losing uh, the uh, knowledge of where it is in space relative to the image. So uh, the default is that the reference is the uh, marker 102, but I already chose that for my mar for my uh, pointer tool. But I can't select the marker; can only be used for one purpose. So I'll have to temporarily select some other thing marker, then switch to my pointer to 102, and my reference is uh, number one, 403. So I select that. If I have additional meshes or objects that I want to track and I've attached these markers to them, I can uh, select them here and then I need to provide some sort of, uh, some not sort, but some uh, mesh to uh, represent these markers in the 3D scene. Uh, I don't have these additional tools, so I'll just ignore this. And the next thing is uh, I need to define fiducial markers these are uh, points that I can identify both in the images and in the physical world so that uh, we can register, align the coordinate systems of the images and the uh, physical world. So the first thing that I do is create a new point set. And now I have to define those points. I'll uh, go to the beginning of the CT scan and see here is these or a fiducial configuration that we have marked, uh, we have mounted onto the phantom, and I can zoom in, and let's start by selecting this marker as my first fiducial, add it, okay, Let's see. Okay, this will be my second fiducial. Add it. My third fiducial. Add it. Let's my fourth fiducial and here's my fifth fiducial and now I would like to save them save them as fiducials.xml they go in the configuration uh, directory just like the other data sets 
the configuration stuff that we're creating right now. And now I'll select a target point. Let's see at the other end of the our phantom. And first thing I need to create a new point set for the targets. Uncheck these are not registration points. And I'll select this. This is a the tip of the eye in the IGT, which is inside of the phantom. Add new point. Save this point set as targets. It will save it as XML. Again, to the configuration directory. And we're done. Now I have to save the whole configuration. Save it. It's saved under the same configuration directory. And we're done with this program. We've planned all of our procedure and we can exit. And yes, I am sure I'm correct.